Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova's Bear Tech, and today I kind of want to talk a little bit about the WannaCry ransomware and a couple of things you could do for preventative maintenance. So let's get started. So I know this story's been out for the past couple of days, and if you guys read all the tabloids and seen video about it, by all means, you could definitely click away. So for those of you who don't know what this ransomware is, it's basically somehow some dude got some code from the NSA or stole some code from the NSA, which is basically a backdoor to most Windows PCs that are unpatched before March. And now that they have access to your computer, they will now install a malware that will encrypt your file, take that key somewhere, delete it off your computer and send it to the web so they would have a copy of this decryption key. Now, the ransom part comes in where if you want to decrypt the files, you have to pay them X amount of Bitcoins to unlock these files. Here's the downside to this. At this point, if you did get caught with the ransomware, you might as well count your losses. Um, there's no way of really decrypting this these files. Um, there's no guarantee that they're going to pay uh, give you the decryption key. Um, so you might as well just disconnect it from the network to be on the safe side and wipe out the computer. Now for those of you who, fortunate enough that didn't get caught with this virus, a couple of things you can do. One is make sure you have all the Windows updates. Now I know a bunch of you guys who actually have limited internet and stuff like that might not be able to download the latest uh, updates or stuff like that from Windows. So I have actually a couple of other tips that you guys could do to prevent this from happening if you're not able to get the Windows updates. So the first tip is actually going into your advanced features uh, to turn on and off features and basically go down and disable the um, SMB version 1 and reboot your computer and that should be able to stop the virus from being able to enter your computer. Another way is you could actually download this little tool. Now this tool, what it does is basically the same thing. You'll go in and disable that protocol for you. So if you're not able to do the Windows updates, uh, these are the other two methods that you could try. I'll post links in the description below on what I was just talking about as far as the two steps. Also, I will post more information about this ransomware from Microsoft's website with uh, MS717010. Thanks for watching, and as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.